In this lesson, we're going to look at creating a simple button for our main menu. So once again, let's come up to the node section and just select the main menu node and then press plus. Now, all we're going to do is type button in here and we're going to check. Now, there are several different buttons, all of which are very good, but we're just going to start with a very simple button. So we're going to double click on the one that says button. Now that brings it up and we can call it start game button or something like that. Okay, so you can see the button's gone up here. Now let's just change some settings. So the first setting is we want to put some text in. So we're going to say start game. Okay, press enter. Now we can make this button bigger. So I'm going to make it quite big and I'm going to try and position it around here somewhere. So now we have that, we need to get our font in um, and make it a bit bigger. So the same as when we was doing our um, text, we want to scroll down until we come to this custom fonts button. We want to turn the custom font on and then click the down arrow, new dynamic font, and then go back to the down arrow and click edit. From here, you're going to get a font menu and we're just going to populate it with a font. Now, the, we're just, I'm just going to use the same hot source, but if you've got your own font, obviously use that. So let's put hot source in there. We can see it's taken. So now if we go up to settings, let's just change this. So I'm going to make mine about 48 pixels. And there we go. We've got a nice big menu. Now, if you wanted to change the color of the text or the color of the background, we're going to go back to the main menu. So let's just click this back arrow. And let's close the font menu and we're going to go to custom colors. Now the one we want here is this one. Now you will notice that there are different color backgrounds here. One for hover, one for press, but this is the normal one. So let's just turn this on and you can see it's gone black. Now if you wanted a different color, let's just say we want, I don't know, something like yellow. And then we just click away and now we've obviously got yellow. Now if you want to change the background, you're going to find that under custom styles. So if we click on the custom styles, the one we want is normal. So let's turn normal on and click the down arrow. And the one we're going to use is this one here that says new style box flat. So as soon as we do that, you notice it changed color. So let's just click it one more time and then go to edit. Now from the edit, you'll notice that there is a background color box. So we're just going to click on that and we're going to change it to a different color. And you can choose whichever color you want. Um, and that's how you create the, the button. Now, at the moment, it doesn't work. But in the next video, I'm just going to show you how to connect it so that it goes to level one.